saving money is no easy fit. Welcome to the 21st century where inflation is at an all-time high with no corresponding increase in salary. Today's video was inspired by one of my viewers and he sent me a DM on Instagram. I've compressed the message so that we can get straight to the point. Hi Hannah, how you doing? I watched your video in how you turned your life around and saved and invested for your master's degree. Could you please explain more about this to me? of how one can save and invest practically for a UK master's degree because it feels impractically impossible to save unless you work in an oil company or you earn so much. Thank you Afolabi for sending me that message. By the way, you can send me your questions, your comments, your inquiries by sending me a DM just like Afolabi did and I'll do my best to answer your questions via chat or via a video like what I'm doing right now. Hello, my name is Hannah and I talk about how to save money, how to make money and intentional living. To give you a bit of context, I'm originally from Nigeria and I moved to the UK. When I did that, I recorded a video which I'm going to link up here for you to watch and that was the video that Falabi was referring to. It doesn't matter if you're a high income earner or a low income earner or you live in Nigeria, Gambia, US, United Kingdom, the tips in this video or how I was able to save my £10,000 is gonna help you you know in case you want to make a major move or you need something to change and you need money to make that change one thing that stood out for me in Afalabi's message was it's almost impossible to save unless you work in an oil company or you earn more which leads me to the first thing I want to say in this video that when you want to save money you have to start small start from where you are you don't have to save a million naira every month you have to start with what you have so you start by saving the little that you have but i'm sure that that is going to come in one way or the other into this video and i just want to get straight into it the first thing i did was that's right i set a savings goal saving blindly is a wrong strategy when it comes to saving money especially when you're saving a large amount and i recognized that early so i was very clear from the start what i was saving for how much i needed when i needed it that helped me set a savings goal that i could meet so every single month i know how much i'm to save to meet that savings goal when you save blindly you feel denied you feel like mm, why am i saving this money i'm just saving and saving and saving with no end in mind and that can quickly become discouraging in fact before you know it you're doing a lot of impulse buying because you're wondering what am i saving this money for no end goal so your girl set a savings goal. I like to think of savings as income minus my expenses and whatever is left is what I can say, which leads me right to my second point. To save more, you have to earn more. So I did not just get to this point in my life where I was able to save a lot of money every single month. I had to work my way up there. So, and if I look at Afalabi's question where he said, unless you work in an oil company or earn a lot, you can't save so much. Well, I didn't get here in one day. I had to work my way up. But because I built that habit over time, when I started earning more, it was easy for me to save more. And there are several ways that you can earn more. One, you can change your job or you can negotiate your salary. So you go meet your HR personnel or your manager and have a discussion. What can you do to earn more within the next three to six months? They'll probably set a kpi for you and once you eat that kpi you start any more that was very similar to what i did and you can try that as well you can also take a second job even if that second job is a bit below you i seriously have a problem coming to terms with people that feel like some jobs are below there or they can't do some kind of work in order to meet their goal whenever you're setting a goal for yourself or whenever you want to do something for yourself you don't look right and left to see what other people are saying you focus on yourself when you focus on yourself you're able to achieve your goal the goal for you in the next six months and next 12 months is to save a certain amount and if Taking a second job is going to help you get there much faster. You can do that. You may also start a side hustle. This is my next video, by the way, because someone already requested it and I had it in my lineup. So if you don't want to miss that video because it is not your regular side hustle video, then make sure that you're, you know what to do. Okay, so you can start a side hustle to support your regular job or if you're not even earning any money at all, you can start a side hustle today. By the way, if you're getting so much value already from this video, smash the like button because it really helps the algorithm and it helps me make more solid videos like this for you. Thank you. <laughs> 
Moving on to the third thing I did to eat my savings goal. Emphasis on the high risk. It is high risk for a reason and that means that you can lose all your money. If you don't like taking risk, don't do it. Don't do not do it look at what is happening in the crypto market look at what is happening to bitcoin right now i'm sure some people are losing their right now anyways the good thing about high risk investment is there is a tendency for high rewards and that really helped in this case really recommend that you watch this video right here because it breaks down how i'm able to save money on a daily basis that really helps when it comes to saving more money which brings me to my next point when you're saving towards a major goal a goal that has so much impact in your life a goal that can change things for you you need to plan long term and that was what i did right every single thing that i've done when it comes to saving money and making more money has led me to the point that i am right now let me give you an example just one example of how planning long term helped me reach my goal so when i started off working in a corporate environment because i wanted to get that corporate experience i started off with a very very basic salary and because it was basic i wasn't just sitting there and just earning that salary and just like mm, i want to learn in this corporate environment i got that job but then i was applying to other opportunities i was beefing up my linkedin profile i was doing things to kind of speed up my career and quickly i was able to move from that phase to the phase that i wanted to be and that is because i have a plan and i'm following my plan if you fail to plan then you're planning to fail remember that that was my first car and that really speaks to why you should use things properly although a car is not an asset because i used my car properly because i was a responsible car owner i was able to sell my car for a high price higher than usual the way that i would advise that you apply this is to buy an asset that you can sell later buy an asset now that would have increased in value by the time you're selling it in the next six months or in the next one year and you know that is like preserving your money and making more from it and I, I really like how all the ideas that I am sharing or, or how all the things all the strategies that I use to save uh, money are kind of intertwined right because my last point was long-term planning and buying an asset now that you can sell later in order to meet a particular savings goal is part of long-term planning an example of an asset that you can buy now that is maybe not so expensive and that would increase in value down the line is gold jewelry while this is not like 100 percent i know that people buy gold and keep it my mom has done that before uh i have friends one or two <laughs> that have gold accessories gold jewelry and i'm sure that if they want to sell that gold jewelry they can always sell it for much more than they bought it so that really ties into long-term planning so the final thing i did to save more money it wasn't like something that i did it was just the situation of the world was yo working from home helped me save money although it wasn't so much because you know when you work from home you kind of eat a bit more i don't know if that's just me but you eat a bit more in any case i was able to save on fuel so if i was using 10 liters before it was down to like two liters of fuel driving to and fro from work um so just working from home helped me save my money if you made it to the end of this video, you are a rock star. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Did you enjoy watching this video? What did you learn? How are you saving your own money? I definitely want to know. I really want to know. And I want to connect with you in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed watching this video, smash the like button for the algorithm. It really helps this video rank and be discovered by more people. And if you think others will learn a thing or two from how I save this amount of money, then hit the share buttons and share it across your social media platforms thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one peace